Survival games are plentiful in the marketplace today. However, if you're looking for some solid video games that are still just as fun to play with an active community in 2023, then we have you covered. In this video, we're going to be highlighting some of the best survival games you can enjoy right now. On number 8, we have Ark. A multiplayer survival game called Ark, Survival Evolved was created by Studio Weld Card and launched in 2017. Players must collect materials, create tools and weapons, tame dinosaurs and other extinct animals, and fend against hazardous predators on a mystery island where the game is set. Players in Ark have access to a large, open world that is home to a variety of landscapes, from mountains and forests to deserts and marshes. Players must deal with shifting weather, various environmental threats including severe temperatures and natural calamities during the day and night cycle of the game. Its dinosaur taming system, which enables users to catch and train a variety of extinct animals for use as mounts, mode of transportation and defense against other players and wildlife, is one of ARK's unique features. Also, players have the option to construct and personalize their own bases, which may be attacked by both other players and AI-controlled enemies. The gaming options in ARK include split-screen co-op, online multiplayer, and a single-player campaign. The game has a high learning curve and may be difficult for beginning players. But for those that persevere, it delivers a rewarding and immersive survival experience. On number 7, we have Don't Starve Together. Clay Entertainment created and released the cooperative multiplayer survival game, Don't Starve Together. The standalone expansion to the single-player game, Don't Starve, was originally made available in 2016. In the game, Don't Starve Together, Players must control their hunger, sanity, and health as they navigate a perilous wilderness full with enigmatic animals and paranormal happenings. The environments in the game are randomly created and have different biomes, weather patterns, and seasons, which makes the gameplay more difficult and unpredictable. Players may choose from a range of characters, each with their own special strengths and weaknesses, and collaborate to collect resources, make tools and weapons, and construct buildings in order to survive against a variety of challenging obstacles. In Don't Starve Together, players must coordinate their efforts and share resources in order to live and prosper. Therefore, communication and collaboration are essential. The game's artwork has the appearance of a hand-drawn sketchbook, and its ominous music evokes a feeling of mystery and dread. It takes smart thinking, fast reactions, and the desire to try new things and adapt to different circumstances to succeed in the hard and captivating survival game Don't Starve Together. On number 6, we have The Forest. The Forest is a survival horror video game that Enmet Games created and released. The open-world video game, which was initially launched in 2014, has the player abandoned on a lonely island populated by mutants who enjoy cannibalism. To live in the forest and protect themselves from the dangerous climate and the mutant residents of the island, players must collect materials, construct shelters, and make weapons and equipment. The day-night cycle and changing weather conditions in the game increase gaming immersion and difficulty. The forest's realistic survival mechanics, which include the need to locate and purify water, prepare food, and regulate health and energy levels, are one of its distinctive features. In order to learn more about their character's background and the island's history, players must also tour the island and find hints. The game offers a number of difficulty settings and game types and may be played either alone or collaboratively with other people. Players must use a strategic approach to both survival and fighting as they deal with a variety of mutant foes, each of which has various strengths and limitations. On number 5, we have DayZ. DayZ is a cooperative survival video game that Bohemia Interactive created and launched in 2013. In order to live in the post apocalyptic world where the game is set, players must scavenge for supplies, make tools and weapons, and battle both zombies and other players. Players in Daisy are placed into a large open area with no predetermined goals or objectives and must scrounge and explore to live. The game has a comprehensive medical system where injuries and diseases must be treated with the right medicine and tools, as well as a thorough survival system where players must manage food, thirst, temperature, and health. Daisy's Permadeath system in which players lose all of their progress upon dying is one of its distinguishing elements. Players are compelled to behave cautiously and strategically as a result of the feeling of urgency and danger that is created. Days also has a strong player-driven economy, where players may exchange goods and money for the tools and materials they need. Gamers may team up or compete against one another and take part in cooperative or conflict activities, as they see appropriate. On number 4, we have 7 Days to Die. The Fun Pimps created and published 7 Days to Die, a survival horror game, in 2013. In order to live, players must collect supplies, construct shelters, and battle off hordes of the undead in the game's post-apocalyptic, zombie-infested landscape. In the video game Seven Days to Die, players must manage their health, hunger, and thirst while scavenging for food, water, weaponry, and construction supplies. 
The game has a dynamic day-night cycle in which players must collect resources during the day to reinforce their fortress and protect it against zombie assaults during the night. There are many different gaming options available in the game including competitive, cooperative, and single-player modes. With a range of difficulty levels, environment presets, and gameplay parameters, players may also personalize their experience. The crafting and building system in 7 Days to Die, which enables players to construct a variety of buildings and tools from the materials they acquire, is one of the game's distinctive elements. The game also has a sophisticated character growth system that allows players to develop and level up their abilities in a variety of areas, including survival, crafting, and weapon handling. On number 3, you have Conan Exiles. A multiplayer survival game called Conan Exiles was created and launched in 2018 by Funcom. The game's enormous open-world setting, which is based on the universe of Conan the Barbarian, pits players against fierce foes, deadly fauna, and severe climatic conditions. Players in Conan Exiles must collect materials, construct buildings, create weapons and armor, and defend themselves against the environment and other players. The day-night cycle and changing weather in the game have an impact on gameplay and heighten the sense of immersion. The Thrall system in Covenant Exiles, which enables players to enslave and hire non-player characters, NPCs including warriors, archers, and craftspeople to work for them, is one of the game's distinctive elements. These Thralls may be taught combat skills, given armor and weapons, and sent on missions or employed to protect the player's base. Players may customize their character's gender, race, appearance, talents, and traits using the game's extensive character customization system. Players have the option to worship several deities, which gives them access to strong skills and prizes. Conan Exiles has a number of game modes and difficulty settings, and it may be played either alone or collaboratively with other people. Fans of the Conan series and the survival gaming genre must play this title because of its vivid universe and captivating gameplay. On number 2, we have The Long Dark. A 2017 survival game called The Long Dark was created by Hinterland Studio. The game is set in the Canadian wilderness after a major catastrophe has disrupted the food chain and caused widespread power outages, leaving players isolated and fighting the elements. Players in the Lawn Dark must control their hunger, thirst, warmth, and health while avoiding deadly creatures and unpredictably bad weather. Players in the game must hunt for food, water, and resources, make their own tools, and build shelter in order to survive. Story Mode and Survival Mode are the game's two primary game types. Although Story Mode is a narrative-driven campaign in which players must solve the riddle of the global catastrophe, Survival Mode is a more open-ended game where the goal is to survive as long as you can. The dynamic weather system in the long dark is one of its distinguishing qualities. Its unpredictable changes may have an impact on gameplay and provide new difficulties for the player. The game also has a day-slash-night cycle and an intricate crafting system that enables players to forage for resources to make a range of tools and weapons. On number 1, we have Dead Side. A multiplayer survival game called Dead Side was created by Bad Pixel and launched in 2020. Players in the game must fend against zombies and other players while gathering supplies and constructing shelter in a post-apocalyptic environment. Players in Dead Side must control their hunger, thirst, weariness, and health while avoiding zombies and other aggressive players. Players in the game must forage for food, water, medical supplies, and weaponry as well as make their own tools and shelter in order to survive. The game has a large open world to explore and a number of gameplay options including PU, PvP, and cooperative multiplayer. With a range of difficulty levels and gameplay features, players can also personalize their experience. Deadside's emphasis on realistic fighting mechanics including a realistic ballistic system and weapon customization is one of its distinctive aspects. In the game's intricate medical system, players must identify and cure a variety of wounds and diseases. That concludes our list of the top 8 multiplayer survival games to play with friends. We hope you found some new and exciting games to add to your collection, and we can't wait to hear about your experiences playing them with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.